floating block of wood. A cubical block of wood, A equals 10 cm on a side, floats at the interface between oil and water with its lower surface, delta H equals 1.5 cm below the interface. The density of the oil is rho oil equals 790 kg per meter cube and the density of water is rho water 1000 kg per meter cube. Part A. What is the gauge pressure at the upper face of the block? So, the pressure at the upper face of the block is the atmospheric pressure, uh, which is the pressure here. And uh, this wood wooden block is uh, basically... Uh, 10 centimeters long and this is 10 centimeters so if it goes down delta h into the water then this is also delta h so it's the atmospheric pressure plus uh, rho g delta h where rho is that of the oil so this is going to be rho oil g delta h and that gives us a gauge pressure p up minus P atmosphere upper interface uh, that is our gauge pressure uh, with the from this equation we obtain P up minus P atmosphere to be a raw oil G Delta H. Now, if you substitute the numbers, raw oil equals 790 kilograms per meter cube. Delta H is 1.5 centimeters. We find a gauge pressure P up minus P atmosphere. 790 times 10 to uh, 790 times 9.8 meters per second square multiplied by 1.5 centimeters 1.5 10 to minus 2 meters this gives us p up minus p atmosphere the gauge pressure to be roughly 116 Pascals. Okay. Part B. What is the gauge pressure at the lower face of the block? So that's this face. Now we have to go all the way uh, into the oil and an additional distance delta H into the water. So now uh, at the lower interface we have the pressure, atmospheric pressure, plus rho oil G times A, the 10 centimeters, plus the additional distance in water, rho water G delta H. And for the gauge pressure, we have P lower interface minus P atmosphere equals to, uh, in G parentheses, rho oil times A plus rho water times delta H. And if we substitute the numbers here, uh, the gauge pressure at the lower interface, P low minus P atmosphere is 9.8 meters per second square, 790 times 10 centimeters, 10, 10 to minus two, plus 1000 kilograms per meter cube times 1.5 centimeters, 1.5, 10 to minus two. So we find the gauge pressure P low minus P atmosphere to be equal to 921 Pascals. Part C. What are the mass and density of the block? 
Well, the block is at equilibrium. If you draw the free body diagram, we have a force at the upper interface, P up times A, a force at the lower interface, P low times A, and there is the weight. So under the influence of these three forces, it is uh, basically at equilibrium. Basically, these two forces give us the buoyant force. So uh, net force on the y-axis is... Uh, P low times A, the area of the block, cross-sectional area, minus P up times A. And these two areas are the same because it's a cubical block. All right. And uh, we have the weight Mg minus Mg equals to zero. So this tells us that Mg is equal to area times P low minus P up. And that is basically area times P low minus P atmosphere minus P up plus P atmosphere. So I subtract and add P atmosphere. So I find that uh, M is equal to by the way, the area is uh, 10, cent 10 times 10, uh, 100 centimeters squared because the block of wood is 10 centimeters on a side. So it is going to be A squared, that's the area, A squared divided by G. Then I have P low minus P atmosphere, gauge pressure at the lower interface minus P up minus P atmosphere, the gauge pressure at the upper interface. And the density of the block is its mass M divided by the volume of the cube, which is A cube. Okay, so for the density of the block, row B, I substitute uh, for m a square g, so you can see a square divided by g divided by a cube gives me 1 over g a uh, and then this term. So I find that the density of the block is 1 over a g. The gauge pressure at the lower interface minus the gauge pressure at the upper interface. All right. And for the mass of the block, I have um, A square over G, which is what I have noted here. And for the gauge pressure at the uh, lower interface, I substitute uh, this result, G times rho 0 A plus rho W delta H. So this is uh, G times rho oil A plus rho W delta H. And as for the gauge pressure at the upper interface, I have rho oil G delta H. Now this is written in G parentheses, so that is rho oil delta H. And uh, with that, I obtain uh, a cancellation of G's here. So this is going to become rho oil Let me get rid of this. And this is going to give me M is equal to rho oil times. Uh, so I have A here, A square here becomes A cube, A cube. And then I have delta H and A square. So this is minus A square delta H plus rho W A square delta H. 
this is the mass of the block and for the density of the block I have mass divided by a cube so a rho oil 1 minus delta H over A and then here I have rho W delta H over A now we can substitute the numbers the mass is equal to a rho oil which is 790 multiplied with 10 times 10 to minus 2 10 centimeters cube minus 10 times 10 to minus 2 square delta h 1.5 10 to minus 2 and then i have density of water 1000 times 10 10 to minus 2 square delta h 1.5 10 to minus 2 uh, and this gives me m is equal to 0 0.821 kilograms that's the mass of the block and for the density of the block i i just have to divide this by uh, the volume mass divided by the volume so it is 0 0.821 divided by 10 10 to minus 2 cube which gives me a density of the block 821 kilograms per meter cube all right so in this problem we talked about a block of wood floating in an oil water uh, interface uh, it is 10 centimeters wide and the depth of water and oil are also 10 centimeters we see that it sinks into the water by an amount 1.5 centimeters we know the density of oil and density of water first what is the gauge pressure at the upper face and then what is the gauge pressure at the lower face and what is the mass and density of this wooden block uh, the gauge pressure at the upper interface is when the block sinks uh, an amount delta H into the water, it's also at a distance delta H from the top. Why? Because the dimension of this part is the same as dimension of this part. So uh, it is the atmospheric pressure plus rho oil G delta H. That's the upper interface. And we can find the gauge pressure to be rho zero G delta H. We can substitute the numbers. And for the lower interface, we have uh, all of the pressure due to oil, so rho oil G A, and then we have rho water G delta H, additional uh, depth into the water, and then we have atmospheric pressure. So the gauge pressure is G times rho oil A plus rho W delta H. And we can substitute the numbers. In part C, in order to find the mass and density of the block, we look at the block in equilibrium, which is due to under the application of the upper force P up times A, lower force P low times A, and its weight, own weight, Mg. So these two basically give us the buoyant force. Now, uh, the net force on the y-axis should be equal to zero, so Mg must be equal to area times p low minus p up where we can substitute these two results that we've obtained and that gives us an expression for m and dividing m by the volume a cube of the block we obtain our density so these are the symbolic answers and these are the numerical answers when we substitute the numbers